a new lane and uh, Lots of balls. Look at that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's South Goa, it's South Benalum. Yep. Houses are very colorful. Gates and walls and flowers. Isn't the coloring nice? I mean, that is one thing. That is just amazing. I mean, so happy. Yeah. Looks like your outfit. Yeah, well, I obviously like the color. Red and blue on this side, <laughs> aqua and white on this side. I obviously don't know this lane after all these years. I've been on this one before. I think it's going to take us down to the Laguna. You know, this whole area, you can imagine how vast it was because these are coconut palms and they are in an order, and they are in this whole area that the town of Benalum has grown up and become. I haven't had one coconut since we've been here. Well, that might change tomorrow. We've been two weeks in South Goa, and uh, in a couple days we're gonna Go explore North Goa. We've been before, but uh, not as extensively as the South. All right, you guys are working on a Saturday. Well, we hit a dead end, <laughs> but what do I find? Hi. Is it, Is it a, That's a calf bird. or a water buffalo? Well, these, well, let me have a look. I think these are calves. You know what? It could be a calf and a water buffalo. Uh -huh. a boy. I saw a tail wag, so there's a second one, huh? Uh, yeah, there's two. Hi, okay, kids. Like one of each, I think. Okay. Yeah. Hi, They're right in that upside down heart of the tree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, something came before that, right? I I had a thought here. The house over there is kind of pinkish corals next to the faded mustard yellow. You remember that game uh, Clue? Well, if, if this was Clue... Hi, Meow Meow. Good morning, Meow Meow. We haven't talked much about why people come to Goa, but if uh, we take a little view of what's going on in Europe and other places where they have winter. Well, it's warm here. That's the bread man. We hear him even at five in the morning. Hi, Papa. And we hear it. And that means bread. And they have uh, kind of white buns. They're very local. Hi, Bup Bup. And then they have a sort of a rustic roll and they call it bakri. Yeah. 
it, it is. And it's only that brightness that has had you miss your friend coming to visit. Hello, sweetheart. He came right and you turned. Yeah? Hi. No, oh, he just wanted to pass, I guess. Oh, but I, you probably will would win him over. Oh, I see. Well, that would be interesting. But what this says was, that even with all the development, there's still land in between. Let's go down this way. I think this will take us to the Laguna, where the where the water buffalo march. And uh, we never did this. remember correctly that Baker lived over here in this neighborhood. I saw the herd of buffalo today, but it was much smaller than Like how many? Maybe 20 instead of 70 or 60, you know how. Mm -hmm. Well, they said they had a bullfights the other day, which is technically illegal. Habits die hard. Well, they came this way every day during rainy season. Is this our old place? Yeah. yeah. Came by. Oh shit! You know. Well, we may not be there yet. We have to go past the big tree. But uh, Olga's been swimming over at that complex over there before, when our friend Jan was staying. It's, a, it's above our pay grade. Local dogs? Baby? That's a nice puppy. Uh -huh. And uh, the water buffalo, there was one tree down here that the water buffalo would come. Hi. Hi, are you a good girl or boy? One water buffalo would leave the pack. Yeah, our room was right up there. And uh, the water buffalo would leave the pack and come over and scratch on this tree. I don't see it, but there was one limb that jutted out. And then none of the others had any interest in it, but it was its favorite scratching tree. That's the Ocean Resort. Coconuts up there. You would hear them falling during the night like bombs. And we saw beautiful butterflies here. During the rainy season, 
this we call the Laguna, but it was uh, almost maybe 30 inches, two thirds of a meter of water. And they would uh, find big fish. I guess they came in from the sea. And because it was all, uh, it was rainy water, so it was a mixed brackish. There's a beautiful little green bird, green and blue. Do you see him? He blends in perfectly. Just beautiful. Yep. He's got black on the face. Hi. Yep. It does have its wonder and its charm. And then before going home, that whole herd of water buffalo would go in here under the tree. Uh huh. And there's water. There are some of the water buffalo, and one here up front is really happy. They just love rolling around in the water. Actually, they prefer to just swim. But if mud is all they got, mud is. And I make them happy. It's all right. You don't have to come at me. I see you. I see you. I'm going to pass, okay? No worries. It's all good. You have the freedom. Yoo hoo. To, yeah, I know. I see you. And I'm really, really impressed, okay? <laughs> oh my God. Imagine that coming at you. Uh huh. I see you. You have deterred me. I will not come. Ah, look. Go for it. I want to see that rolling around. Huh? Yeah. Good for you. Very impressed. Wow. Pretty awesome. These guys really enjoy this water. Just a little stepway over the wetland, and it's not that wet right now. Uh, that changes in the monsoon. <laughs> I don't think people will cross this when the monsoon is going, the whole thing floods. So, this is the season for the tourists and we can go, go straight across. <laughs>